There's a butcher shop owned by a couple named Vincent and Sophie. Their butcher shop is relatively quiet because the quality of the meat they sell is mediocre. Sophie thinks their shop will soon go bankrupt if it continues like this. However, her husband Vincent does not believe so, but he also does not find a solution that makes Sophie angrier. Not long after, their shop is attacked by a group of masked people who spilled red paint on their shop. When Vincent tries to arrest one of them, it is discovered that they are hardline vegans who oppose the sale of animal meat. The damage caused by the vegan group caused them to temporarily close their shop, which reduced their income, and frequent fights between them strained their relationship. Sophie decides to go to her friend Stephanie's house to tell her about her problems with her husband. According to Stephanie, Sophie would rather divorce than continue to suffer with Vincent. Because Stephanie had also recently married a famous butcher, her life had taken a very luxurious turn. Shortly after their meeting, Vincent and Sophie are introduced to Stephanie's husband, Mark. They announce their plans to open a new store and make Vincent and Sophie so jealous that their shop is on the verge of collapse. But that feeling just disappeared when Mark presented Vincent with a gun. On the way home, Sophie thinks a lot about what Stephanie had said about divorce. So she asks Vincent to get a divorce right then and there. However, Vincent doesn't want to and ignores his wife's request. In the middle of the conversation, they meet a vegan who had previously vandalized their shop. At first, Vincent wants to intercept the person, but instead, he hits him to death. Luckily, the road they are on is rarely passed by other vehicles, so no one sees the incident. In a panic, Vincent tries to call the police and says it was all an accident. But it was all in vain because the police didn't believe it, and they just took the shotgun Mark had given them. Then, Sophie suggests Vincent to using a trick she learned from a TV show, throw the boy in the trash so the police can't find him. They also took the boy into the car, and Sophie left everything to Vincent as he caused this incident. But instead of obeying Sophie's orders, Vincent takes the boy home and cuts him into pieces. After that, Vincent tries to tell the boy's condition, but Sophie doesn't care about it anymore. The next day, Vincent rushes to the shop because the boy's leg he had cut off suddenly disappeared. It turns out that the wife sells the legs because they are similar to pork. Indirectly they have made their customers eat human flesh. Vincent starts to sweat when a customer comes in, asking where the meat they are selling comes from. Vincent had to lie and say that the pig was from Burkina Faso. Shortly after, Vincent tells Sophie that the meat is the boy's flesh. But Sophie isn't surprised and doesn't care if her customers become cannibals as long as their shop is busy. If their shop continues like this, they will eventually become rich like Stephanie and Mark. Since that incident, many customers have come to buy meat from their shop. However, their supplies are running low, and Sophie innocently asks Vincent to kill someone else. Of course, this crazy idea was rejected by Vincent because he didn't want to be a murderer. Vincent's refusal causes Sophie to become cold, and he has to sleep outside. Reluctantly, Vincent complied with his wife's request. A few days later, they went to a steakhouse, searching for their next target. They are looking for the ideal body, not too skinny and not too fat. Good meat should have the right amount of fat. They are looking for someone who is less stressed and often makes out to make the meat juicier. Then Sophie saw a woman who she thought would be a perfect target for them. But Vincent refuses because he doesn't want to kill women. Then Sophie again suggests killing a child so that the meat is soft and tender. Vincent also rejects this and prefers to kill transgender because the flesh must be exotic. In order not to be suspected, they pretend to order food that is not on the menu. The waiter is confused and calls the manager. When the manager arrived, Vincent and Sophie instantly fell in love and smiled at each other at the sight of the perfect chunk of meat and fat. Furthermore, Vincent and Sophie plan to kill him when he returns home. When the manager gets home, Sophie asks Vincent to launch his action while she is waiting in the car. At that time, Vincent suddenly wants to give up his intention, but Sophie still forces him. Having no other choice, Vincent tries to attack the manager. But since he is inexperienced in this, he goes back to the car and says he lost against a manager who turns out to be good at Muay Thai. Sophie immediately scolds him because she knows Vincent doesn't dare to kill that person. A few days later, their daughter comes home with her vegan boyfriend, and their daughter also becomes vegan. Even though Sophie has cooked meat dishes, they refuse to eat and instead talk about a healthy lifestyle. The chat between the two vegans made them dizzy. Vincent and Sophie feel relieved when their daughter and her boyfriend say goodbye. Their child's attitude made them think of becoming vegan activists to get new targets. Their campaign has been criticized by various quarters for being seen as forcing people who don't want to be vegan. Suddenly, a skinny man comes up to them and supports them. Even though it seems that the man doesn't have much meat, they have no choice because the meat supply in the shop has run out. 
If it is not restocked, the customer will be disappointed. So they made a plan to meet the skinny guy. Unfortunately, the unexpected happens because the man brings his friends and invites Vincent and Sophie to eradicate the butcher shop, forcing them to agree. During the trip, the thin man inquires about the professions of Vincent and Sophie. In order not to be suspected, they claim to be florists. A few moments later, they arrive at the location, and it turns out that the shop they were after was a butcher shop owned by Stephanie and Mark. This moment was the perfect opportunity to repay their arrogant treatment. After being content with destroying their rival butcher shop, Sophie and Vincent are seen fighting in a restaurant. Sophie couldn't accept her friend's butcher shop being vandalized like that. But Vincent doesn't care because he is sick of Stephanie and Mark. The argument escalates until Vincent chooses to go home and leave Sophie alone in the restaurant. Shortly after that, Sophie is approached by a waiter, and he escorts Sophie to her house. The waiter, who turns out to be a vegan, is surprised because he is carrying a woman who worked at a butcher shop. Even though he is forbidden to be with non-vegan, the waiter is already so seduced by Sophie that he kisses her passionately. Suddenly, Sophie bit the waiter's tongue until it bled to lure him into the house and nurse him inside. Once inside, Vincent is furious to realize that his wife brought another man into their house. Sophie is happy to see Vincent angry. Because in the first place, she gets the waiter to make her husband jealous, so he wants to kill him. Vincent's emotions burn when he sees that the waiter is so arrogant. Unable to stand the servant's attitude anymore, Vincent kills him. This made Sophie happy because her husband was no longer afraid of killing people. Unfortunately, their daughter arrives just as they are about to clean up the waiter's corpse. They distract their daughter as much as possible, so she doesn't see the waiter's body lying down and quickly kick their daughter out of the house. Their meat stock was abundant the next day, making the shop even more crowded. Vincent and Sophie's relationship is more intimate because they hunt humans together. Every day, customer demand is increasing, making meat prices go up because it is tough to get the meat stock. Until recently, no one has suspected this human flesh, so they aren't worried about being caught. But they have to be careful because the police start to investigate the missing vegans one by one. One night, they meet an attractive target named Winnie. Seeing Winnie so big, Vincent and Sophie loved him so much that they laughed at each other. Winnie feels their behavior towards him makes fun of him, and it traumatizes him because he used to be bullied a lot. From these two couples' behavior, Winnie already knows their intentions and chooses to run away. Sophie recalled the TV show she watched, which said that if the target managed to escape, their crimes would be exposed sooner or later. Therefore, Vincent and Sophie have to catch him at all costs. Luckily they had previously exchanged phone numbers. They immediately call Winnie's number to hear the ringtone on Winnie's phone. Then there is a ringing sound that feels like it isn't far from where they are standing. The panicked Winnie tries to run away again but he falls and dies instantly from the heart attack that hit him. This Winnie's meat looks better than any other, so they don't sell at all. They enjoy the rest of the meat in the middle of the forest while relaxing intimately. Suddenly, a stranger arrives who says that Vincent and Sophie have stolen his space and oxygen. Even so, the person relents and looks elsewhere. But when he wants to relax, Vincent and Sophie kill him. Sometime later, Vincent and Sophie come to Mark and Stephanie's house to show off and give samples of the meat they sell. While Mark eats Winnie's flesh, he takes a bite of the chip he thought was bone. Sophie reasons that good meat has chip in it, unlike the cheap meat at Mark and Stephanie's shop. Vincent also insults and annoys Mark, and there is a fight between them. After returning from Mark and Stephanie's house, they continue their hunt for their target. After watching National Geographic, the hunting skills of these two couples become more intelligent and capable. They manage to kill many people and make a lot of money from their flesh. Even though they are good at killing people, Vincent and Sophie continue to live their daily lives as vegan activists. One day at the vegan market, they meet their daughter, who is out for a walk with her boyfriend. Sophie and Vincent, who are butchers, are severely insulted by their daughter's boyfriend for daring to set foot in a vegan establishment. This commotion made them the center of attention of the people there. And without realizing it, it turns out that hardline vegan members are eavesdropping on their conversation. After arguing, Vincent and Sophie go home. Not long after, her daughter's boyfriend comes home to apologize. His apology is sincere because he doesn't want his future in-laws to hate him. His heart could break if their daughter asked to separate from him. Sophie, who is already mad, intent on killing this vegan. But Vincent stops her and asks his daughter's boyfriend to go home to avoid bloodshed. Since then, Vincent is reminded of Winnie's innocence and must end tragically at their hands. This guilt makes him want to stop hunting for human flesh and persuade Sophie to return to selling ordinary meat. 
After they try to resell the regular meat, the results are bad. None of the customers want to buy meat at their place because they know that the meat that Vincent and Sophie sell is different. The dwindling customers made Sophie annoyed at Vincent because this is all Vincent's responsibility. The next day, Sophie was guarding the shop and was approached by a vegan activist she met. The secret of those who claimed to be flower sellers was revealed after hearing about their quarrel with their daughter's boyfriend some time ago. As a result, Sophie is beaten to death and held accountable for the animals they have killed. At that crucial moment, Vincent comes to save his wife from the group. He managed to beat them with ease, but not with the skinny guy. Vincent had such a hard time defeating the man that he almost lost the fight. Luckily, Sophie, who was released, immediately came to her aid and killed the skinny man. Not long after, the police come because they get a report from Mark and Stephanie. They have been suspicious since they found Chip in the meat Vincent and Sophie were cooking. As a result, the two couples are arrested by the police. During the trial, they do not regret their actions at all. They only regret killing Winnie because they thought he was adorable. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.